Tiffany from I Heart Heart, and I wanted to show you how I executed this watercolor technique using the Faber Castell Art Grip Aquarelle pencils and the Stampers Big Brush Marker in Black. Um, you're also going to be using this is Quinn's ABCs from Lawn Fawn and a ton of stamp box because you're going to be stamping off A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. You're going to need some water and a fine paintbrush and then of course a strip of white cardstock. And I'm just using Nina cardstock. You don't have to use watercolor cardstock. Let's begin. So the first thing you're going to want to do is ink up your stamp with the ink from the Stamper's Big Brush Marker and then you're going to stamp each alphabet overlapping from A to L. We're going to stamp off the H and the I overlapping together um, in a separate area because we're going to adhere that over that border strip we just created so that you can see the HI for high. This ink, once it's dry, it is permanent. Now to clean up the inky mess, I like to use these letterpress cleaning cloths from Lifestyle Crafts. Right. So I'm going to start with the yellow, move into the orange, and then the violet. I'm just going to color a block line of color around the letters. I'm not going to do a whole lot because the ink, the pigment on the pencil will spread really nicely once you add water with the paintbrush. some water using a wet paintbrush just to disperse those pigments. You can see that the pigments really brighten up once the water is added. I'm just gonna spread them around. The people I spoke to at the CHA Chicago show really loved how you could push this pigment around. You didn't really need a whole lot. You didn't have to lay down a whole lot of color to achieve beautiful blending or to cover your whole project. The last thing you're going to want to do is add that water to the H and the I. And we did this in teal so that it could stand out against the border strip we just created. And you'll see that the ink from the Stamper's Big Brush Marker doesn't move. It is permanent once it's dry. And the pigments from the Art Grip pencils are also permanent once they're dry. So if you're doing a mixed media project, you could layer colors and mediums without the coloring from the Art Grip Aquarelles getting muddled. You're also going to want to color in the eye for high on that main border strip because you don't want to fussy cut that eye dot, or at least I don't. And you're also going to add water from a wet paint brush with that. And when you're done, you're going to cut it out, just a little bit of fussy cutting. And then you're going to adhere it on top of the H and the I on the border strip. And I'm using a Tombow glue pen laying down some glue and then I'm going to adhere the H and the I right on top just like that. 
So you can see it compared to the original. I fixed some mistakes on my original. And that's how you use the Art Grip Aquarelle pencils and the Lawn Fawn Quinn's ABCs to create that cool border strip. Thanks for watching!